Hello and welcome back to a Maple Farm. It is now mid-August. We're starting a little bit earlier today because I think we've got a lot to do in trying to get things ready for today by working late into the night, getting make sure the grass was done and the workers were doing their thing so that we could crack on. I was sort of pottering about and looking into the bits that I thought I was having not much issues with, but I wasn't quite understanding. And namely, feeding my animals. Turns out, the near three, four, maybe 500,000 litres of hay that we had in here, they'd eaten. Um, because of the uh, real feed uh, mod part of uh, Maze Plus, I think because we've got a few hundred cows, they're now getting through a lot quicker. They are eating so much more. Um, insane. Although, I will say that they ran out of feed completely and they didn't they didn't graze so I think in that aspect of running this older version of the map I, th I think it was on version 3 and I believe Cavalier Raw there you go, feed is working uh, Cavalier Raw is working on version f 5, 6 now trying to get some bits done and completely compatible with everything uh, that I'm not fully fully in sync with all the uh, the newer mods and how they work but I stuck a little bit of hay in there just to check that the feeder worked and obviously it did we've got food in there now uh, not a great deal I'll uh, just bring that up and show you where are we there we go on the Holsteins so we've got a little not a lot but it should with the feeder, the robot feeder, it should feed them enough on the hour, every hour, to make sure that they've got enough. And at the minute, that's about 5,000 litres an hour. So when I said uh, a few episodes back, it's nice having all this, but when you fill it up and you can leave it be, you don't really see the cows, it would be nice if we need to do a bit more. But now we need to do a lot more. We need to do a lot more. So today's probably going to be a busy one. We need to get bedding in there as well. We've got that mountain of poo that's now disappeared. And all the bedding, I believe, is gone. There's no... Oh no, I'm saying straw now. Oh no, a straw from the other bit. Uh, no straw. So health, uh, food, milk, straw. So there's no straw. So we're not producing any manure from here at the moment. Which is fine. We've, we're going to still be producing slurry. And I believe if we could quickly run over to the other one, we will uh, we'll just have a look on their little pop-up. Down here, um, these don't produce milk, so we're not worried about that. They've, they've got their bedding, um, slurries there, hay silage straw, and they've got a bit of mineral feed. But I believe the mineral feed, is this one isn't too bad, because they're only small calves, and there's only 100 of them. But they're still getting through it. Over here, 400 and... 20 some odd cows I think let's go back to it it should tell me 414 cows the health is only at 30% they are not not happy cows at the minute they are not going to be producing us a lot of milk so yeah what was the mineral feed like sorry I'm going to keep uh, running back and looking now is that 31,000 um I've, our money has gone down, you'll have noticed. I've stocked this up again, another 27,000 litres, so I'll probably put that in there again later. But for now, let's crack on with some jobs and do what needs to be done. And our first job is going to be getting the, the meadow grass, our grass meadows, not meadow grass, but our grass meadows, uh, going from um, unconditioned to conditioned. So if you look down on my controls on the left, under Y, We've got set to te uh, base game, so if I ted it, I think it'll just turn to hay, and we don't want hay. Um, so we can go conditioned, semi-dry, I don't think we want that either, or hay, base game. So we go back around, so we want to set it to conditioned. I'm hoping that if I set this up as course play with that set there like that, that's what it's going to work with. So I'm going to let you guys come follow through with me. So we're on this field. Um, open it up. I don't think we need six headlands on there. Generate the course. There we go. Looks good. 
start the job. Just stick with them for a bit and check that they do. Set it to, yep, so now it looks like as if in base game, as if we just cut it. But because we haven't, it was unconditioned, so now it's conditioned. So uh, I'm happy with that. Jump out. They'll, they'll crack on now. We're going to load a wagon that. And annoyingly, there's bits of hay in there as well, so I don't know how that's going to go. Hopefully, it'll be alright. This one I've cut myself while I was given time to. Let's just pop, get rid of that because I hate that. While I was given time to uh, allow the workers to um, cultivate and do things and get on. I cut this field, so we've got this one to put in the uh, silo as well when we do our silage. And that is cut into condition so we don't need to ted that that can just be rolled straight up and this one they can uh, come and ted afterwards so they're doing that and I thought we were going to be jumping in today this is why we started a little bit earlier um, I thought we were going to be jumping in today and just straight on seeding I forgot I want to stone pick this hopefully if I start a stone picker because we've still got one out this work this worker has you know done a fantastic job but it takes a while for them to get through it as it would do so we're just gonna hop in and if we put them on real speed we can get an extra couple of mile an hour out of them oh wow a lot of extra mile an hour out of them. I'm gonna bring that down set that it says 12 we're going to set that to 12 but to make sure we get 12 on the up um, we'll set it to 14 so it'll do 14 down 12 on the up and that should help them to get through that job I'm just going to tell that it's literally us telling them to put their foot down don't worry about the quality I keep pulling my chainsaw out someone's going to have an injury today ah oh! um, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> yeah so they'll crack on through that with that Um. What else do we need to do? There's so much we need to do today. Oh, the small bales. I got them moved. And they are stored beautifully. Sorry, not much farming happening at the minute, but there will be some, I promise. Um, we got them moved over here. And I do apologise for my voice. I thought I was uh, on the up and I sound like <laughs> dog shit today. Right, so they're stacked out. I decided to move them here. There. They looked all a bit feeble and weak over there. Now, we need... I'd like to get some straw in for bedding, which means we need to get a straw blower or a, uh, a forage mixer. I think a forage mixer would be good. If we get a forage mixer, where's my tractor? Where's the tractor that's not in use? I swear we've got more tractors. Um, yeah, if we get a forage mixer, we can experiment with different TMRs when... Uh, when I find out what we need to use, I'm leaving that to the community. I could have looked, but I'm also going to try and get an extra episode in. So the week that this comes... There we go, there's a tractor. The week that this one comes out is the first week without Ubaler on. And there was nothing else replacing Ube for two weeks. So oh, I don't want to take the trailer with me. Um, so, sorry, I'm, I'm in. I'm going to try and put three maypoles out which means I'm moving one forwards or moving one backwards as it were um, on the schedule and we're going to get this one this will be, should be the Friday one so we should have got one, an extra one on Wednesday that's what I'm trying to do so I'm recording this before the others have released so we'll be three ahead at this point rather than two like I normally am so uh, I haven't had a chance to really look into what goes into the different TMR mixes, what we can feed our cows, what I should be buying and stuff. So, yeah, <laughs> we're just, just winging it. So we're just making sure we can get them as happy as we can until I can grasp the, uh, the Maze Plus and uh, we know what we're feeding them. Like I say, if you know right now what I should be putting in my mix to feed my cows, on top of the TMR feeder doing it because the robot is working. We saw it. If you know what we need, drop it in the comments. You guys have been brilliant for helping me out so far, so uh, 
I am 100% relying on you now to f do my information finding. I just don't have the extra time or the energy to be uh, looking. So let's head into the store and uh, look at what we can get. So there's straw blowers. That's a forage mixer. So there we go. And these will shred the bale and just blow it, and that'll just put straw on the ground for bedding, which is cool and all. What's that? That's pretty cool. Um, but if we do it with a forage wagon, that'll still put the bedding down, I think, and allow us to... So you've got so many different mixes now that we can make. I need to know what goes in these. They look awesome. Okay, so... I think I might go with Keenan. I've got this one. I've got one that's more realistic running. And it was a long time ago that I installed that. I can't remember what the difference was. So I'm going to go with the basic. And again, if I get time to check out what the difference is, I might flick to the more realistic. But we'll get the Keenan. I'm going to buy it. Another purchase for a new episode. We'll get it hooked up and back to the farm. And uh, we'll uh, chuck some straw bales in and see if we can just pump that in as a bit of bedding. Not a lot, but just a bit, just to see how, how much it takes. We'll use the uh, small bales. I'll just chuck some of them in by hand. And hopefully, it'll, it'll allow me to just drop it in at the entranceway. Because you can't just drop a bale down. I have tried that. And it doesn't work. Yeah, so I'm going to shred it with this. And then hopefully, we can just pour it in. If not, I guess we're coming back and we're buying a blower. <laughs> it's that simple, we'll buy two things. But we want the uh, forage wagon anyway. This is something that I, I want. Um, I forgot to say, the, uh, the Keenan uh, is by 4D Modern. And this has been a classic of a mod for quite a while now, for many iterations. One that many people have uh, gone for as choice of wagon. I like it. It's a beautiful mod. Sorry if you can hear me. I am so stuffy and I can feel myself congesting as uh, as I'm going through this. I'm fighting through it, guys. I'm trying to get these out for you. And I'm trying to get them out for me because I enjoy doing it. And when you feel rough, what you want to be doing is things you enjoy. So uh, I'm, I'm doing my best here. I am sorry if the quality has gone down. But I feel like uh, I'm having, <laughs> having a good time. Right. So... If oh 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 look at that! It tells you what the recipe. Okay. We just want straw in anyway, but we'll we'll look into that when we've got time because we need to get our fields done. How have we suddenly run out of time? I like this. It's not even turned on, but it's doing stuff. Is that automatic? Did I not need to do anything with it? That's cool. Okay. Love it. We're learning. I'm learning here. This is not a tutorial by any means. Of for this is a let's fumble through and see what happens. That is awesome. I, ha I haven't used a mineral feed. Have I used a mineral feed yet in uh, 22? This is crazy. Um, I'm sure I have some point but that's good I like that it's only 6,000 litres of bed but we'll see if this will go in if it'll allow me to uh, put this in as bedding from here from here then uh, we're all good when we get to do the farming parts on the land the <laughs> We'll probably do some big time lapses because I'm talking a lot and doing things and I'm very conscious that this is going to be long. Let me just drop that in. Oh yeah, right. Let's uh... and let's go in this bed and excellent. I am so happy. I was just 100% winging that. <laughs> So pleased that that, that worked. Oh dear. 
I'm in an emotional state while I feel under the weather. I may have cried if that didn't work. Right. So I think we're getting there on making our cows happier. They're going to be bad. Next up, the challenge is going to be to sort the chickens out. Our other cows have got bedding and I can put the rest of those bales in. Come the end. Uh, uh, excuse me. So... Stone pick and stone pick and stone. I believe the Doit still has the stone pick in. So let's do that. See, their robot feed has gone well, although their straw pile is looking quite low. So something we need to do as well is uh, get in that uh, shed with all the straw and fill up our feeders that way as well. Right, I'm just going to leave that there. Because seeding is a task, but uh, we need to do this, or we need to have this set up to do this. Let's roll the back up out. Because this works quick. This works really quick. We shouldn't have any trouble in clearing this field this morning. I am going to set a worker on it. Oh, look at them. Extra power. Look at that. They are putting their foot down. They've smashed that field up. Should have had them set uh, at the real speed from the get-go, I guess. Um, which way? Didn't set up this way. Right. I can. I want to get in anyone's way. Super sync. Look at us go. fold myself somewhere right that looks like a pretty decent place to start up against the fence so we'll put these on a course as well um, open we'll do a double headland I think on this one There we go. Cool. Panicked me then. Took a little bit of processing. The larger the field, and that is now getting to be quite a large field, it takes a little bit longer to do. So, four headlands. Ah, multiple tools. That's why I got confused. Uh, there we go. Let's try that again. There we go. It, it got confused because it's like, no, there's no multiple tings here, my friend. But yeah, that's going to be the route. Okay, I'm happy with that. And off she goes. She is going to... Oh, I love that. I love that. Considering I hate stone picking, I love that mod just because my workers can do it so much more efficiently that way. They are killing it. Absolutely killing it in this field. Now, once they've got their headland in and maybe done a few passes, we'll be able to start seeding. And I would like... A new cedar today as well. So we're going to look to do that. I've got a little hole under there I need to fix. Um, let's go check on... Our, we, we are farm manager today. We're keeping an eye on the workers. We've got three workers on the go. And we're going to be doing a job ourselves. Absolutely killing it. So let's go check in on this guy. Or girl. This person. They finished. So we'll get them moved over on the other field. I'll just do this patch. We'll get them moved over on the other field, and then I'll jump in the New Holland, and we shall head up to the store and do some cedar dealing. So we're at the store, and we're going to sell our John Deere cedar. I said we'd do this uh, a few episodes ago, uh, because, uh, well, initially, it's just... I love it. It's a lovely mod. It's just not suited to this map, because it's so wide. We can't fold it up. It's only... Uh, four, it's four and a half, I think, four and a half, five meter width, and we struggle to get down the roads with it because of that. It doesn't fold. It's it's definitely more suited to, say, an American map. So we're going to sell it, and for this one time, right, we're going to repair it. I often repair. Now, Comrade, who has been great since arriving on the channel, plenty of feedback, pointed out that I never re repaint anything. I don't repaint anything because honestly I'm the sort of person that I don't care but for Comrade we're going to repaint this now it's going to cost us £6,238 
so it's got to be worth more than 30, uh, 30 grand for us to it's got to be more than 30 30,100 for this to have been worth while doing it was thank you very much comrade so we've made an extra about 500 quid off this so we're going to sell it and it's been repaired and painted and that is for you comrade so hopefully you're watching mate and we're going to replace it with a sulky PVL which by the looks of it 2 meter width so we can get down the lanes 2 meter on each side for the 6 so it's going to be a 6 meter working width it's going to be easier to get about I think um, it's got a seed capacity of 4,000 litres, which is a fair old bit, that'll do. And this is by, let me just come out and have a look, don't want to get it wrong. La Ferme de Pelviv, Pel Pelvel, there you go, that was my French. Anyway, we are <laughs> we're going to buy this one, uh, just because it looks cool. I did think about getting the cockling again, because I love the jockey, but we're going to go with something different, and that looks a beast, so we'll buy that. And it cost 109500 So that 500 bonus we got from painting the uh, <laughs> the old cedar has covered the 500 for this. So, uh, yeah, marvellous. Great stuff. We are absolutely destroying it financially. We're now down <laughs> 147 grand. We need to get our cows happy so that we have more money again. Because um, that milk money was was really doing it for us. I think we were up to like 35 grand a night or every morning from uh, from milk money. So yeah, we need happy cows. We're a dairy farm, we need happy cows. Now I think I'm gonna remove this particular bag mod. Uh, it's nice that you could do this 2000 litre capacity of them, but I'm having trouble filling off it. And because of the type of bag it is, it doesn't uh, pour in from the bottom. You've not got the pour. So I've had to uh, stick it on the top, and you'll see it'll uh, fill from there. It's a bit of a strange one. So that one now has 9,000, and it didn't. I'll put the bottom one here to show it doesn't fill from the bottom one. Still 2,000 litres. So, uh, yeah. They're good bags, but I'm having, I've am i had issues with them. I couldn't get them to fill into the, uh, the seed silo as well, so that's why we're having to do it like that. But we should be able to get ourselves some fertiliser in here, so we'll uh, work our way around. And if we fert this as we uh, as we plant, we, uh, we should be good to go. Now, I, I did get in touch um, with Disturbed Simulations a while back about fertilising whilst using course play because I was having trouble with it and he did tell me how to do it. But me being me with my old man brain, I forget things. So hopefully we can do this. I'm sure I've got some fertiliser or it might be a case of me not opening my trigger when it needs to be opened but I'm gonna lie I haven't, haven't been able to find I, I must have moved it at some point because I've got unfold cedar lower I've not got open cedar anywhere and I don't know where it's gone them are lights from the tractor So yeah, a bit of a strange one on that front. So we'll just have to do the fertilising afterwards. I'll have to look into the key bindings. We are getting all sorts showing up here, look at that. Everything, everything. Got so much going on. No wonder nothing works. <laughs> Can we get through this gate? I put the gate in there for convenience, but it's a bit of a small gate. I might just take the gate out itself and we'll have an extra foot either side then to actually negotiate with. Oh, just about in. Go on, lad. Use all them horses. Pull it through. We've got a snag. 
had to jimmy myself out, so <laughs> that went well. Right, I think um, I'm going to do some track magic here. We won. I'm trying to think now. On the outside, track four. We'll do two tracks and then I'll reset it anyway. So that's fine. That should all be good. That should be turn fertilization off, then we've not got to worry about that. Should we put a worker in? And I just messed up the tracks because I am a fool. There we go. Right. It's already down, it's lowered, it's in position. Let's turn it on. It's, it's been so long since we've done seeding. We're on canola, yep. At least I got that bit right. And off we go. We are doing some field work ourselves, finally. What is the time? One o'clock. So I'll be very surprised if we uh, if we get this done today ourselves. We'll give it a go. We'll try and smash it out as best we can. We'll get our headland in. And uh, just... just just go for it. I'll, I'll, I'll give myself a little bit of tunage and we'll go Billy O. But yeah, I feel like I've uh, chatted a lot today, so I do apologise if this comes as a long one, a long Friday one, something to chill into, relax with it. You can do it in two parts. You've got the whole weekend until the next one comes out. <laughs> but yeah, I, I say, I'm having fun with it, so it's uh, hopefully that comes across. I hope it does. I, I know I don't always have the most <laughs> outwardly exciting personality. Uh, but that's because I'm a, a grown-ass man, and uh, my, my excitement comes out in bursts. Not like some some craziness that's going on here. We're not trying to make mean content, we're trying to make enjoyable, simulated content. So we're trying not to abuse our bush. See, this is where it's going to get a little bit, a little bit funny on the, uh, the trammage. We should just turn trams off. That would be the thing, wouldn't it? That's what it should do. And putting in the headland, just turn the trams off. And you don't have to worry about messing it up. I'm sure I've covered this myself before. But I think they might be getting full on their stone front because they look to be uh, to be slowing down a bit. Hopefully they don't want to drive it too. Or perhaps she's just struggling in the Deutz. Perhaps the Deutz still like the uh, the angle. Not going so quick. Who knows? But they should always. We, we shouldn't ever catch up to that. If we're doing nine and they're doing about fifteen, I should imagine when they get going. But it's just the slow positioning with the worker. I think that's their downfall. Their downfall is they're too accurate. They need to not care so much. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Right. I'm going to finish my headlands and then I'll uh, get back to you for a little bit of up and down. Our worker had finished doing the uh, the lifting, the turn and the conditioning of the grass. So uh, we've switched them over. They're now going to be doing some wind rolling over here. And uh, we'll get them to do this field. Hopefully the other field as well. Uh, all before the end of the day and hopefully that has allowed for our worker to get a little bit further ahead because I don't think they're going quite as quickly as maybe they used to so I think they're, the Deutze may be struggling on the up like I say that, that turn that they do as well is a little bit of a, uh, a bizarre for them but it's all good now I'm going to try and remember at the end to come back down and plant in that area that I'm now missing on my left. I want this to be my row point. I'm a row point, yeah, a prop row, yeah. This is gonna be where the tram line is, which we are laying our tram line. Um you can see it there. So we're gonna probably put an extra one, this outer sink, um sort of near the middle of that patch that's what my plan is going to be and this is this should then work in sync for the rest of the field hopefully <laughs> I'm always so confident with this stuff 
So we're just going to run a little bit into where we've planted. Bring ourselves around. I'm hoping we can have a nice smooth uh, session here. Getting planted done, or getting seeding done. I call it planting, um, but I guess you. I should call it seeding when I'm using a seeder and planting. Should the time comes that we use a planter, but I just think planting. It's planting, we're planting seeds. Not seeding seeds, are you? I don't know. To me, this is all planting. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Did I seed my garden? I seeded the grass when I regrassed my garden earlier <laughs> this year, so uh, I don't know. I guess it's, uh, the, the difference is I was just chucking it about, whereas this is a machine that is planting it in the ground. I just threw it over the top and then raked it in a bit. Anyway, I digress as always. I'm going to crack on with this because uh, I should imagine my voice is sounding awful by now and uh, you don't have to hear me cough and sniff and do my thing. And uh, I'll try and find some music for it, so uh, let's cracketh on. I think before I get too far up the field and forget about this, I'm going to do this bit now. So we'll uh, do no tram line here, we'll loop round, we'll do the other side with no tram line, and then we'll uh, tram line the bit. Whatever we do that's left in the middle, we'll stick a tram line in. I don't think it's going to be necessary. Uh, it, it feels so long ago that I did this field, but I'm in doing this now, I think I've set my tram lines too close already. But we'll see. I think they are. I'm sure you guys will know better than I. They might be right. They might be where we put them last time. But I think that that was probably uh, a little too close. After this plant session as well, we're going to have to uh, to fix our tractor it's got some wear on it I think we brought did we buy this second hand or did we buy this new we brought this brand new didn't we and uh, yeah we've obviously clocked some hours up on it already amazingly have we, have we done that I don't know honestly my memory is so bad the simplest of stuff um eludes me at times. So if I will go to track two there, when we place it down, it should in turn give me a tram line. There we are. So it's definitely going to be close to that one, but it should be the right distance for the hedgerow is what I'm thinking. That's what we're working for. Then I'm going to try and be a smart ass and uh, <laughs> connect it up with the other tram line. That is uh, <laughs> that is the plan. So here we go. Here we go. Go on, lad. So if I then drive in along the tram, we should be there. Just like that. And because we trammed the very last row that we uh, that we seeded, that we planted, we should still be in sync for the rest of the field now. Sometimes I have a little bit of a plan, 
Uh, sometimes I, I look like I haven't got a freaking clue. This I know. I am going to go down the other end of the field though because I want to I wanna 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 I wanna continue in sync of where where I was and what I was doing so I'm always going tramming down and uh season up as it were. So put our cruise back on. And we'll try and get a few more of these done. I'm not sure well I we could get the field done today if I worked late. But I don't think that's necessary. I don't think that's something we need to do. We've got tomorrow to seed as well. There's um, no crops, no other crops that we can plant yet. Uh, barley that we're going to plant, that doesn't go in until September. So that's that's all that's all right. We can do that. The only other jobs we're going to have for tomorrow will be rolling this field just to uh, seal this in and work to get that um, cut grass into the clamp and we probably need to move our worker over I did check while I was uh, plant they finished so I think looking at what we have what we've got left I'd say we're about halfway we leave this here for now we'll turn the light off stone pickers still going shall we quickly uh, jump in there and see how that's doing oh I tell you what I meant to do as well they're doing alright just, just giving it some I mean, we've not got life to be fair I don't think there's stones in this part I think it was just the middle section so we could just dismiss that and get rid of it, but we'll we'll do it. We'll do it. Why not? They they like making work for themselves, so we'll make them work. I know <laughs> a no need job. But we'll uh, we'll quickly run over. I'm gonna get the the workers set up and uh, have them row this field. And uh, that'll probably be it for today. It's it's been a long 12 hour day and we start early we've got plenty of daylight but I've got a feeling this video is going to be long already uh, because we did a lot of chatting and looking at stuff before we even got going and uh, I don't want to uh, take up too much of everyone's day so yeah I'll get this set up and uh, come back in the morning we'll have a field to finish we'll have this to collect up we'll have a field to roll and uh, I've got that field to do as well. So uh, there's still plenty to do, lots to go on, get on with. Probably no more machine purchases. <laughs> we need to save some money until we start making money again. Need to uh, look into those ch uh, chickens and the, uh, the cows. So again, I will ask, if you do know, if you have ideas and can help me with where it is we're going wrong, what we need to do, especially when it comes to the feed and the maze plus, let me know in the comments and uh, we can get that implemented as soon as so uh, hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos go live i promise you i don't always sound like i've got a cold but i will do for the next few months because i have the worst immune system going um yeah you guys have yourselves a wonderful day thank you so much for joining me have a wonderful day, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.